So let's talk about obesity and get fit. You know, it is the leading preventable cause of death worldwide, and it is an epidemic. All we need to do is to lose weight is to eat less and to exercise more, right? Well, for a lot of you, you know from experience, it can be much more complicated than that. Our Get Fit expert, Dr. Emily Cooper, is back with us this morning to talk about her brand new book that now you can get on Amazon called The Metabolic Storm. And congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here to talk about this Thanks. because now people can actually read about the science of your metabolism and why it's making us fat. Absolutely. Tell us why you wrote the book. Well, for 25 years, I've been seeing patients who are trying to lose weight. And years and years ago, I recommended diet and exercise like everyone else did. And I saw people come back and they had regained the weight they lost and often then some. So I knew that this dieting was not the answer. And so I went to the research and I discovered this vast universe of science on metabolism that I couldn't believe wasn't in the mainstream. So I felt I needed to write this book to share the information beyond the four walls of my office because we're dealing with an epidemic where nearly 60% of the uh, adult Americans are going to have prediabetes or diabetes by 2020 and already two-thirds are overweight and obese. 60%, which yeah. is a shocking number. Yeah. So, so, and this is really about the science of how our metabolism works. Tell yeah. us what you want people to take away from well, the book. The first thing that I want them to realize is if they have a weight problem, it's not their fault. The weight is just the visible symptom of an underlying issue that's much bigger. And so um, that's the first thing, because we all know people who can eat anything mm -hmm. and they never gain weight. Others who just smell a donut and they gain five pounds. So right. obviously this calories in, calories out is outdated and oversimplified. Secondly, I want people to know that diet Diets don't solve the underlying problem and they actually can make problems worse. And thirdly, I want to just open a discussion, a real discussion about the truth that people are experiencing with their weight and expose them to this hundred years of science that I found so they realize that it's a medical problem, not a potato chip problem. And let's talk about that because for years we've been told that it's our behavior, our behavior, if we just change our behavior, that's the answer. But what your book really talks about is that it's not that, it's a medical issue for right. so many people. Right, because even the American Medical Association has designated obesity as a medical disease as well as other organiz or <laughs> organizations. Right. Um, so it's not just me. And these public service announcements have always focused on it being due to lack of control or bad habits, and if we fix those, we'll solve the problem. But the science shows that's just not true. Yeah, I'm so glad it's, you break it down in the science. I just have to say, I was able to read the book in two days. It oh, really great. breaks it apart. Great. It talks yeah. about, you know, uh, uh, breaks it apart about yeah. how our hormones work and all of that. And the unfortunate thing, well, the unfortunate thing is that the American Medical Association, even though they have designated this as a disease, mm -hmm. the insurance companies still don't recognize no. it and don't provide coverage for weight-related treatment, which is denied under most, um, you know, most plans. So we have a long way to go with this. Yet. They don't provide coverage yet. Yet. Not yet. And that's what we're hoping is that the book will hopefully start some conversation. Dialogue. Yes. Well, tell us what the metabolic storm is, if yeah. you can, in 25 seconds or more. Well, or less. It, I say. <laughs> what it is is when overweight people, they're really dealing with glitches in their metabolism, a feedback loop that's a communication loop between the brain and the body that regulates your metabolism and your body weight. And these glitches form what I call a metabolic storm because it can reach the level of a hurricane, you know, a level five hurricane in terms of disruption to the metabolism in the body. And no diet can really fix this. And the diets cause what we've discussed before, this diet fog that scientists refer to as diet-induced defensive body weight, which are hormone settings that leave a lasting fingerprint that basically says, store more fat, you're starving. Mm -hmm. So the good news is that you can diagnose and treat the underlying problem in the majority of cases now with the science that's available today, and that is really, truly amazing. And that's what you focus on that's what in I this focus book, on. The Metabolic Storm. And you can read all about it because the book's available at Amazon. It is. Correct. Yes. Thank you. Thanks Dr. for having Dr. Emily me. Cooper, thanks so much. Thank and we'll you. See you again Great. in a couple more weeks to Thank talk more so about much. this and many other health related Wonderful. issues related to, Look forward uh, to it. getting fit.